Hey guys, once again, uh, this was the other drawing uh, that I did before. How's it going, guys? This is Mad Sketch, Doodle Tuesdays. This is the one that had like the monkey face dude. I mean, I'm looking at it right now. He's not very monkey like, but that's what I thought he was. Anyway, I uh, decided to add another guy in this scene to kind of add to it. Uh, I was kind of going along the lines of matching what he had on, but then uh, instead I'm just going to uh, make it kind of look the same, but give him a more personalized suit because I don't like I don't like making things that all look the same. I like changing it up. And besides, I haven't really finalized what this guy is, so if I come up with something better with this guy, I might change it to the ape man. Uh, what else was it? Yeah, so for this one, I just kind of came up with an idea of just doing a war scene, and so instead, uh, I, I I gave him a I gave him a kind of a big ring around him instead of like a collar, because these guys are pretty burly dudes. So they will have, you know, shoulder pads that are just almost like one whole shape. I mean, if you look at their entire body, it's kind of all one shape. So I'm giving it like that big collar where once you see it, you can kind of see the rims of the inside of it. And, um, yeah, I mean, you see me throwing the little lines here and there to kind of give it a bit of the size. Or basically that's where I'm noting down okay or his arms are gonna his biceps gonna be there and the arms are gonna be there um, here I'll, I, I'm just putting in where the eyes are decided to kind of give him a more um, straighter face not very much ape like but just kind of very like vary the the look of each person kind of ish <clears throat> And you know the, what, what the one thing I like about Photoshop is that you can make all these changes and it won't kind of leave a mark you know you can completely erase it and it would kind of be like it's not there um, this program that I use is Photoshop um, I feel that you can use GIMP and all these other programs too like um, I think it was this other one called something with manga something anyway um, I the only reason I use Photoshop is because ever since I was young um, I used Photoshop when I was in high school actually uh, we had my teachers taught me Photoshop in high school and then when I got to like Sheridan you know everyone was doing it for using tablets and drawing with it and I was like wow cool like you could do so much with it and I still had problems drawing with a tablet but still I just kept using it and um, and then I got really used to it when I had to do textures in 3D so by that by that time I was kinda I was really, I was really getting into it, and uh, and I really, uh, I really wanted to, uh, to just kind of keep using Photoshop and no other program because of the fact that, I don't know, with Photoshop you could pretty much manipulate every single pixel on the screen, and to me, I don't really have to simulate painting because if I wanted to paint, I would paint, and. I, I feel like once you scan that, that thing will have more information. And, you know, if you're trying to simulate painting, you might want to try actual painting. Because what you really see in, like in real life is so has so much more. Um, you get that experience if you do a lot of your, um, if you do a lot of art pieces traditionally. And then when you scan it, or when you, um, you know, we'll put a lot of detail into it. And when a person sees it as opposed to a photograph, I mean, it's there's there's so many, it's there's such a big difference. So for me, Photoshop has its own tools, has its own appeal and and style, and I can be as 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 tight with all the lines that I put on. I can correct it. I can I can make it tighter. You know, if 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 there was some, it, I don't want to try to do the loose stuff because painting can do that. But with, with Photoshop, you can get it almost to the point that it's realistic, and I, and I like that. That's why I think I got into the whole 3D animation and stuff like that, too. You know, I've learned, all, oh man, the, the programs that I use now. Once you get into 3D animation, you don't stop learning programs. So for me, texturing will always be Photoshop, but when it comes to 3D, you can learn Maya, you can learn Max. I personally use Max, 
but uh, I've learned how to use Maya before. I've learned um, XSI. Um, there's a lot more. Uh, I learned combustion for compositing After Effects. Um, for 3D, I think I, I tried a little bit of XSI. Uh, I think Wings 3D, Rhino, Cinema 4D, all that stuff. But um, to me, 3D Max does it. I mean, that's where I started it, and I, I was just glad to be able to do everything. I mean, I try to apply the same theory of sketching, you know, for, on, on 3D and just kind of make stuff as you see it. You know, it's kind of fun, you know, you're playing, really. Just, I look at it as, like, just, just more tools, more more playground for me, to, uh, like, a more, play, uh, more play pens to play at. You know, Photoshop is just one place you can play around with your ideas and make it real. As you can see, the way I'm doing the eyes is a bit off, <laughs> and the mouth is a little bit off too. I will be probably, I will keep changing that. Even the shape of his head, I was getting carried away. But what I wanted was hair coming out of the the cap piece of his head, kind of like he's all messed up looking. And this is what I'm talking about here. It's like you can really zoom in and just stay there and just you know. Modify everything, anything that you that you really want changed, and I like adding subtleties. Um, my tablet is usually more towards firm, so when I when I put down my my tablet, because I I press hard, so it depends. You know, for other people, like even on pencil, I press really hard, so I I have things that are not my pencils are not too much like two B or four B. It's almost like H B and just B, so that I could press hard and it wouldn't make too much of a darkness but actually with with tablets I've actually gotten used to the idea of getting um, getting being more careful with with how much I press and right now I use a graphire 4 so they got that old-school plastic on top of the tablet so to me I could just press really hard and it won't damage the uh, I mean it might damage the pen this is like the second pen I've had but uh yeah i'm adding a little de the little details here and there the bridge of that nose is a little too dark i'm gonna lighten it up a bit yeah no, i was just thinking of um having a war scene with these guys who's just kind of going through uh the trenches and they all look very angry because who isn't angry when you're having people shoot at you. You gotta shoot back. Uh, let's see. Who commented on something here? Odeon28, thank you for the comment. Um, my uh, my Deviant is a mad sketch, or it's M-A-D-D dash sketch. There's a bunch of accounts of, on, on Deviant, and those are all mine. Because <laughs> every time I made one, I would forget to uh, I, for, I would forget the password and I would just be like yeah forget it I'll just make another one so I think I have like I don't know three there or something like that it's ridiculous so the, the real one is that mad m-a-d-d dash or hyphen whichever you want to call it for oh yeah, yeah hyphen or whatever um, yeah that that is the one mad m-a-d-d what do you call it? M A D D dash sketch. Getting all tongue tongue twisted. And uh, what else is there? Yeah, I'm trying to add the, the chin, the little chin covered piece for the head. I love adding the shadings. I love also the fact that I like trying this. I mean, I don't always do this, but I always ha I have. I I I usually have a mid-tone color even if it's gray because then it, it gives off it takes away the white because later on when you put the white it feels brighter and that's the effect of the white it's supposed to kind of add lighting you know because then it puts more work later on when you already have white and then you have to take it away from white and then add the white you know the white is the highlight so if you had a mid-tone color you can take that away it might be it might throw you off a bit in the beginning but it's not it's a uh, 
it, it helps you out later on and a lot of people do it sometimes I don't do it of course you know I want to change it up a bit but sometimes uh, sometimes it helps you big time I said times there a lot uh, yeah here I'm just thinning out the lines sometimes I like having thicker lines but for this one because it's just the faces within the uh, the borderlands of the character overall I like to thin it out so I can have more room for for information information meaning like the details that I put in there when when you put details those are pretty much in information that you're indicating to the viewer you know is this guy thin face is this, does he have scars is he you know this and that and you look back check it out you know go in and you can tell the teeth is absolutely messed up but mind you the teeth is not gonna get fixed completely it's still kind of bleh and that's about well it's for now I'm gonna go back on this one and finish this guy off this whole scene so hopefully um, hopefully I can put more uh, videos not just doodle Tuesdays to finish these off I don't know I'm still trying to fix the format of how all these doodle Tuesdays are gonna be because maybe I can do a whole video where I finish this whole thing off so that the next doodle Tuesdays could be completely different but my days have been really busy at work and we're doing a lot of work for different um, for different uh, productions and stuff so I don't know if I have the time for it but I'm also gearing towards making a vlog so maybe that might be a part of it I don't know in terms of showing you my drawings my pencils and all the things that I use so thank you for uh, putting up with this particular video <laughs> he's got some really creepy teeth I will fix that next week alright guys you guys all take care keep drawing stay safe peace